Hello everyone. Welcome to Poesis e-learning and certification services. This is second video session in MQTT series. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an open source MQTT broker on a Windows machine. So let's get it started. In PubSub architecture based network, the broker node plays a pivotal role. The computing system used as a broker must be robust, rugged, scalable, resilient, reliable, and fault tolerant. A broker in PubSub networks receives messages from publisher and delivers them to subscribers following rules of message filtering. There are three types of filtering used by the broker, topic or subject based, content based, and type based. In this session, we will learn how to install an open source broker solution, Mosquito, along with client utilities. Eclipse Mosquito is, is an open source EPL EDL licensed message broker. It implements the MQTT protocol versions 5.0, 3.1.1, and 3.1. Mosquito is lightweight and is suitable for use on all devices from low power single board computers to full fledged servers. The Mosquito project also provides a C library for implementing MQTT clients and the very popular Mosquito underscore pub and Mosquito underscore sub command line MQTT clients. In the installation process, we will download Mosquito installer from its official website. Once downloaded, we'll double click on executable file to run it. We'll follow this process. We'll continue with the default settings. And once installation process completes, we'll click on finish. So let me walk you through this entire process. This is mosquito.org website. We are on the download page. You can find Mosquito installers for all the operating systems available here. For Windows, you can click here on this link to download latest version of Mosquito. Click on save file. As soon as downloads come complete, click on executable file to run it. In case of any security warning, select run anyway, assign required permission, click on next to begin installation. As alluded to earlier, we'll go ahead with the default settings. Take a note of installation directory. It is Programs Files folder in C drive. Installation has completed. Click on Finish to finish installation. And let us go back to our presentation. So the next step is testing Mosquito Broker. And to test it, we'll open a terminal window. We will navigate to Mosquito folder. We'll run Mosquito hyphen V to run Mosquito broker. Mosquito broker should start running using default configuration and default MQTT port 1883. 
in case of any errors go to windows services and make sure mosquito service is in stopped state let me show you how to do it we'll open a terminal window make sure you open terminal window in administrator mode we will navigate to mosquito installation directory to auto complete just click on tab key now we are inside mosquito directory is mentioned earlier i'm running the command mosquito space hyphen p okay and as you can see here mosquito is running successfully it says mosquito is running and listening on port 1883 ipv4 ipv6 both the versions of ip protocol are supported and the version of mosquito service running on our system is 2.0.6 as mentioned earlier in case of any error we can go to services and in services too you can find mosquito service okay here it is and as you can see here currently mosquito service is not running so either you run mosquito in a command terminal window or mosquito would be running in as a service so we have successfully run mosquito now for next step let us go back to our presentation in the next step we are going to run a subscriber process and to run the subscriber process we'll open a new terminal window we'll once again navigate to mosquito folder we'll run a client instance using mosquito underscore sub hyphen t iot slash test command mosquito underscore sub is a command to create a subscriber client hyphen t is the prefix for topic name i will have a elaborative coverage of how to assign topic names and best best practices so let us open one more terminal window right click on previous command icon to open a new terminal window once again we will navigate to mosquito folder and here we are going to run our command mosquito underscore sub space hyphen t topic name it was iot slash test you can choose any name when it comes to topics you are free to choose a name okay so the subscriber process has started running and as you can see here request has gone to mosquito broker and mosquito broker has acknowledged this subscription request here it's written sending sub act subscription acknowledgement to the client who has requested for it now 
In the next step, we are going to run a publisher process. How to do it? Let me show you. So to run a publisher process, we are going to open one more terminal window. Once again, we will navigate to Mosquito folder. We'll run a new client instance using mosquito underscore pub hyphen t iot slash test hyphen m hello command. Mosquito underscore pub is the command to create a publisher client. Hyphen t is the prefix for the topic name and hyphen m is the prefix for message payload. The message in this example, hello, should be published and displayed in the subscriber window. Let's do it. We'll open one more terminal window. Let us keep the other two terminal windows on the screen visible to you. And in the third terminal window, we will navigate to a mosquito folder. And here we are going to run the command mosquito underscore pub hyphen t iot slash test. Now be careful, the topic name must be same. Hyphen M, your message. We can drop any message. Let's drop a simple text message. Hello. Okay. As you can see here, the message has been published on broker, and broker has delivered this message to subscriber which has been displayed here in the subscriber window so this message has completed a round trip successfully from publisher to broker and from broker to subscriber and this is what a broker exactly does it takes message from publisher and delivers those messages to subscribers based on subscription status. So we have successfully installed Mosquito Broker. We created subscriber and publisher processes, and we have successfully tested message publishing and receiving on the subscriber side. Congratulations, you have successfully installed Mosquito Broker on your computer and have also tested it. In the next session, I'm going to show you how to write your own client application based on open source MQTT libraries. So stay in touch, happy learning.